Hello, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to kind of expand on something I talked about on my last video uh, when I had mentioned that it was 110. Uh, it is 110 again here today, and uh, a lot of people ask me how I stay cool uh, living in the van, and uh, I've kind of avoided that question because uh, the simple answer is I don't. Um, I didn't talk about it last summer, but last summer I made a bucket swamp cooler. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't talk about the bucket swamp cooler is uh, it, it's really only good for a small portion of, of the country, but really anywhere that you'd have high humidity, so basically all of the East Coast, uh, they're not going to work at all for you. So I, I kind of thought that it was a waste of time talking about a swamp cooler. But because people keep asking, uh, I just thought that I would do this video and kind of uh, talk about that. Um, the swamp cooler that I made uh, was very, very simple. It was, it was pretty much as simple as it could get. Um, my only real issue with it was uh, that it took up a lot of space. So I dealt with having it taking up a lot of space in the van here and moving it around constantly. Uh, up until the fall. And then when the fall came and things cooled down, I actually got rid of it uh, with the idea that I would make another one. Uh, this year, I started to make another one, but just really didn't like the idea of taking up all that space and moving it around like I did uh, all of last summer. Um, I've looked into buying a Mighty Cool, and some of you might be familiar with that because uh, Caravan Carolyn uh, has one. I should say that... I, I don't want to talk bad about the Mighty Cool. Uh, I think that it's a really good product. Uh, Carolyn really likes hers. It's working out very well for her. Uh, if you want to know more about the Mighty Cool, uh, there's a YouTuber that has done some really extensive uh, videos on, on it, and he's even made his own uh, version of it uh, from scratch. Uh, I really encourage you to take a look at, at his videos. Uh, New Zona Rides uh, 2, I think is his is his uh, channel name, but I'll put a link up up here so, so that you can, uh, and also down down below so that you can check it out. Um, obviously, if I didn't want to spend the money, that kind of money, and I didn't want to take up the space, uh, I was kind of looking for a different solution. So what I found uh, just by accident uh, at Bed Bath & Beyond was this product here. Um, this is made by a company called Hometics, uh, and I think it is called the MyCool. Um, and it is basically just a tiny swamp cooler. Uh, it has a little computer fan in back. Uh, it has a little um, uh, paper filter in front. Uh, and then it has a little water tank that you would take out and fill up. Uh, drop in here. Um, and it has an an integral water pump that would pump water over the little paper filter. Uh, air blows through from the computer fan and uh, obviously being that it's a computer fan and it's very very small it only does so good but it really fit the bill with what I was looking for. Um, I have a few problems with it, uh, two in particular. Um, one is the price. Uh, it is outrageously expensive. Um, I believe it's selling for about 80 bucks. Uh, uh, what I did was I signed up uh, for uh, online coupons with Bed Bath & Beyond. They sent me something like a 20% off coupon uh, in, my, in my email box. And so when I got that, I went back and I, and I bought this. So again, this is not going to be for everybody. This is not going to be for most of the country. Uh, but if you're on the West Coast here and you have kind of space issues, uh, this has actually worked out very well for me. It, it's been the difference between uh, me sleeping at night and not sleeping at night. And it, that was actually the, the determining factor of me uh, spending the 65 bucks on this. Um, was I, I just spent too many sleepless nights, and so I finally just uh, signed up for the coupons. As soon as I got that coupon, I ran back and bought it. Um, one of the things that I had noticed about it was it uh, runs off of 12 volts. Uh, most of you know that I will not run an inverter. I only run 12 volt appliances. So what I did um, was I took its regular plug and I just chopped it off um, and went to Pep Boys and bought just a regular cigarette lighter type plug. 
Uh, I've got two uh, cigarette letter ports that I put in the van when I, when I built the van out. Um, so I just plug it into one of those. Uh, it was really quite a simple thing to do. Um, the plug was less than five, five bucks uh, to buy the plug with this long wire on it uh, from Pepways. You can get them most anywhere too. My issues with this are, um, if you notice, I have a piece of um, a Velcro strap holding it together. My big issue with this is it's not clipped into place at all. So driving around, it would fall over uh, and leak everywhere. Um, so I solved that by just putting this little Velcro strap that I had bought at, well, there's, there's two of them I have tied together, but I had bought those at REI some time ago and um, I just had them sitting around in my camping kit. Uh, so that's what I used to keep it together. So that kind of solves that problem. Um, my other issue with it, and, and it's not really an issue with it particularly, it's just that, um, it's just the way that it is. Uh, it doesn't blow very hard, um, just because it's it does have this kind of small computer fan. I don't know what size that is, but it, it's pretty small. They're not gonna lower the temperature inside the van, but they will uh, they will cool down cool down whatever they're blowing at. So basically I set it on my little table here, which is right beside my bed, because my van is so small, I can direct it quite easily. I can move the fins uh, up and down uh, to direct the air right at me. Uh, so for me, it's working out great. Uh, if you have a larger van or if there's more than one of you, uh, it's not gonna work for you. It's that I like the low amp draw of this. Uh, computer fans draw very little and I've got a very small battery bank and just one solar panel. So uh, battery draw for me is a big, big issue. And so really the compact size of this, you know, the thing is tiny. Uh, doesn't weigh anything. I can stuff it under my bed. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space like like the uh, the bucket swamp cooler that I had made uh, last summer. Um, so I really like it. Uh, if you're on the West Coast and you want something that is less than the several hundred dollar option of the Mighty Cool, um, this might work for you. And I'm very very happy with it, and I'm very glad that I have it. Uh, as soon as I got it, I start sleeping much better. So it was worth the 65 bucks that I spent, uh, absolutely. And uh, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Uh, I know a lot of you are gonna tell me I'm crazy spending 65 bucks on this, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I was crazy not to buy it sooner. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.